We unlocked Chipper and Babe for the set one collections. We finally now have this 99 Pedro Martinez making his debut today. Has anyone used Pedro this year? How is he? Is he usable? We're the home team, so we get to pitch first with this 99 Pedro Martinez. I think I want to just start by throwing every pitch. So first, we're going to do the fastball. Throws 100, which is always a good sign. Now I want to try the cutter. And I really just want to also focus on these perfect releases. Didn't get it there, but a 95 cutter. That's pretty fast. Now we're going to just keep it on that outside corner. Go to the curveball. And I got to make sure I'm getting some perfect releases. We have the slider and the circle change left. I'm going to keep it outside. Try to paint up this corner like I'm Pablo Picasso. Missed oh, it. And... I guess I'm going to just stay on the outside. 3-1. I wouldn't want to hang a slider. That's strike number two. And a full count. I think we're going to try to blow a fastball by him. We've used every pitch. This is the only one we've used twice. And there's one batter, one strikeout from 99 Pedro. Two strikeouts. Man, a 27 strikeout game would be pretty nuts. And that is a three strikeout first inning ever that I've thrown with Pedro Martinez. I'm pretty happy with it. As long as we don't give up home runs, I think we should be good. 99 Chipper Jones trying to get some damage going in the bottom of the first. You could even say that's a perfect start to our half of this inning. So far, I have not done really well with this lightning Aaron Judge. Ooh, can't be late on those. Can't be dropping the PCI. Following that leadoff single, it's back-to-back -back ounce. We're going to try to start a two-ounce rally. I would like to go back to the perfect perfects. After one, we're tied at zero. I'm going to see if Pedro Martinez can keep this perfect game going. So far, three batters, three strikeouts. It's not a strikeout, but it's out number one pretty easily. What a matchup. Pedro Martinez versus David Ortiz. That's honestly one of my favorite things about Diamond Dynasty is the matchups that you get to see every game. There's plenty of different ones, a lot of fun ones. And now it's Pedro Martinez versus Aaron Judge. I was hoping for a double play. And the fly ball, the pop-up from Aaron Judge is caught by Babe Ruth. I imagine 30, 40 years ago, that's probably maybe even less time ago. That's probably a sentence people would have never thought that they would hear. That Babe Ruth is catching a pop out from Aaron Judge. I guess 20, 30, 40 years ago, Aaron Judge probably wasn't even alive. But you guys get what I'm saying. That's two scoreless innings. Our perfect game and no hitter are gone. But we're trying to keep the shutout going for us. Trying to erase it for our opponent. The Big Hurts leading us off. There we go. A leadoff single. Where have I seen this before? Can we please get that runner at least to second this time? I'm, I'm okay with that. Like, it sucks. But I like seeing myself get perfect perfects. It's a good feeling. But that good feeling disappears pretty quickly when you see the ball just go straight to the glove. I did not feel early on that. We tracked it so well. And we have one more out to try to get this leadoff single up at least 90 feet. We couldn't do that in the first inning. So the next couple... That, what a play from Chipper. The next couple innings, after two, we're tied at zero. I need to just not be chasing those outside pitches like I am way out in front of them. Pedro Martinez, Mitch Keller, two scoreless innings for each of them. Pedro Martinez trying to be the first of them with three scoreless innings. And he's two ounce away now from doing just that. Back-to-back -back pitches, 68 speed, and it's back-to-back -back outs. Maybe it's because he struck out a few guys, hasn't allowed any runs yet, but this 99 Pedro is feeling better for me so far in this small sample size than he did last year. Derek Jeter, our number nine hitter, before the lineup turns back around. I told myself I was going to stop chasing those. And the first pitch we see is an outside pitch that I'm chasing. All right. I promise we're going to stop doing that from here on out. Look at that. See, I laid off a pitch. Oh, if we get good timing, the runs are going to start raining. 
Aaron Judge, two down, bottom of the third inning, 65 speed, gonna stop for a two out single. No! I mean, it was sort of outside, but that one's low. My opponent's doing pretty solid with Mitch Keller right now. Or maybe I don't have a good enough eye. But what I do know is that 99 Pedro Martinez has been dealing the first three innings. And one pitch, one out here to start the fourth. Looking for four shutdown innings in a row. And the shutout is gone. And 99 Chipper takes me deep. Ooh. Judge is not going to get here, is he? No. Did I get a perfect throw to second? 34 speed. He's not even testing it. I don't really blame him. Now I need a double play. That's a home run followed by a single. And now I'm facing Big Poppy. She'll be out number one or two. How many outs are there? I don't know. Buckle my shoe. Derek Jeter makes the play. Jock Peterson pinch hitting for Aaron Judge has worked the count full. Don't give him a hittable pitch, Pedro. That's fine. Nope. Ball four. I don't mind it at all. Nick Castellanos is not necessarily who I'd want to face here, but I'd rather be facing him with Pedro after seeing a swing like that than facing that Jock Peterson card. I was a little bit scared when I saw him pinch hitting for Aaron Judge. Oh, no. I'm going to have to start hitting. Pedro Martinez has had a two-out rally unravel against him. It's 2-0. We're down 2-0. Four decent innings from Pedro. That was definitely the worst yet. I've got a good feeling about our bottom half here. Babe Ruth, four, five, six hitters. Do up. And if we can get good timing, that's going to start raining some runs. Oh, my goodness. Late on that one. All right. We really got to focus up here. I know it's only the fourth inning, but it's going to go by fast the rest of this game. I would much rather get the runs earlier than try to save them for later. After four, two to zero. Let's see if Pedro can put up a zero. One pitch, one out. I need a scoreless inning. Thank you for being played where you were, Jeter. Got him chasing that change up below the zone. I'm glad he wasn't able to hit it for a home run or anything like that. And that might have just been a three pitch top of the fifth inning. JT Real Muto with a single. I don't think I have anything but singles today. 90 speed. He tried to play a weird. So I'm just going to take the second base because he gave it to me. And now we're in scoring position. The tying run in the batter's box. Only one down. I tried to check my swing. And it was a better at bat than I've been having. But it's been a rough first five innings. Pedro keeping us in this game. Only two runs allowed. I just... Made some bad pitches in that fourth inning. And so far, he hasn't really been doing too terribly besides those two runs. I wasn't sure what was going to happen right there. We got out number one. That's four or five pitches in a row. My opponent's swinging at everything just like me. So the way that we're going to win this game, I can tell you right now, is by being more patient, waiting for mistake pitches. Not just swinging at every single pitch that's thrown. Even if it's close. Even if it's in the strike zone. Just like David Ortiz is doing. We don't want to be doing that. There we go. Six really strong innings from Pedro. I'm probably going to keep him in this game if his pitch count's doing decently. I don't see a reason to take him out. My best swings today. I've just been out in front of the ball. And I haven't been able to wait back. No! Oh, I was doing so good this oh. inning so far at not chasing pitches like that. A two-ounce rally from Babe Ruth would be exactly what the doctor ordered here. Swinging at the first pitch. We got good timing, so I'm going to honestly be happy with that. Just got to get the PCI on the ball next time. And the next time, I will be down to my final nine ounce in this game. I'm really hoping that we get there only down by two. Another first pitch out for an inning from Pedro Martinez. My opponent does not have a lot of patience, just like myself. And this game has been flying by. I think he was kind of ready for that fastball. I'm glad it's out number two. This is only pitch number 59 from Pedro. And Mike Trout able to get there. Will Smith slapped it with his stick straight to him trying to at least get one run if i don't score at least one in the bottom of the seventh 
I'm scared for the outcome of this game. I thought that was gone. I'm late. That actually might have been a homer if we had good timing. We really got to focus up. There we go. That's hard hit. Early. No, that's not even that hard, man. Like, the PCI is right on it, but we didn't have good timing. Yo. Good timing. Why can I not get you? But when I do, the PCI is nowhere to be found. I don't like this. 2-0 after 7. When was the last time I had a base hit? Pedro Martinez. Gotta keep a scoreless inning again. I don't even know. Okay, that's gonna be it. No, it's not. Yes. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I don't know why I'm throwing anything that's hittable. Like, the first two runs, understandable, I guess, right? Like, it happens. I don't, I don't, I don't remember what happened. But with my opponent swinging at every single pitch that I'm throwing, regardless of if it's in the zone or out of the oh. zone, how do I let my opponent hit a perfect perfect? That just hopefully shows y'all that I could be a way better pitcher, but my issue is... I like to throw strikes. I want to get swings and misses, but even when he's swinging at everything, I'm still throwing it exactly how I would normally. I'm in these bad habits, these bad routines, and right now I'm in a bad position trying to win this ranked seasons game. I'm just lost versus Mitch Keller right now. Gotta get good timing. Down to my final five outs now. If I'm not getting good timing swings, I have no chance. It's not over yet. I obviously am still going to try to win this game, but man, this has been just a poor performance at the plates. 125 power from Chipper, maxed out. Should have hit it to a little bit shorter part of the ballpark. I'm down to my final three outs in this ball game. I don't want to get shut out in a YouTube video, but I hope you don't mind me getting shut out if I do, right? I'm not just going to only show my wins on the channel. Maybe I should. I don't think you guys can see it behind the camera, but this person was the 50th person in the world to parallel four. This Jock Peterson, but I like showing games even if I get my butt whooped, even if I play bad. I hope you don't mind that, but I also understand it's probably a bit more entertaining though to be seeing me doing the butt whooping. Down 3-0, down to my final three ounce. I can't tell y'all the last time I had a hit in this ball game. We got to try to get some here. And we got a base hit. It's not over yet. I really hope we can somehow get another one in a home run. I haven't had a hit in a while. Maybe that just started a rally for me. Please get down. We didn't have good timing. I hope you all enjoyed seeing me get my butt whooped. Just unable to hit today. How about a video where I actually hit right on the screen here? Hope you all enjoy. Drop a like. Subscribe for daily uploads. I'll see you all in tomorrow's. Peace.